Requirements Analysis. Hello everybody, now that we have a set of requirements, do you think we should move on to the design stage? No, not really. We have just finished step one of our requirements process. The set of requirements that we have still might not make sense. The requirements we have are what the users want, but they may not represent what they actually need. Requirements at the moment are expected to be scattered. Many people are talking about many things. We have requirements from many sources, and it's expected or normal to have conflicting requirements. So what we have in our hands are good requirements and bad requirements, and we need to filter the good ones out of the bad ones and refine the good requirements to make them usable. We should try to bring light to any assumptions the users might hold and resolve conflicting assumptions. We need to read between the lines to identify the features or characteristics the customers expect to be included without explicitly saying so. To achieve this, we should consider the second step in our requirements process, requirements analysis. Requirements analysis is concerned with the process of analyzing requirements to detect and resolve conflicts between requirements, Discover the bounds of the software and how it must interact with its organizational and operational environment. Elaborate system requirements to derive software requirements. Come up with the final list of in-scope requirements. Another way to say it is that requirements elicitation describes the requirements as is. In contrast, requirements analysis describes the requirements as to be. To analyze the requirements, we need to perform various activities on the requirements. Conceptual modeling or converting the requirements to models is the most famous technique. But while conceptual modeling is important, we include the classification of requirements to help inform trade-offs between requirements and the process of establishing these trade-offs. We will talk about each of those activities in the following videos.